Hi guys, very good evening. Happy to see you all in the next video. So as I said in the next video, I am going to test DTS Dolby decoder or DTS Dolby uh, remote kit with class D 5.1 amplifier. So in this 5.1 class D amplifier, so uh, I am using front left right each 50 watts, surround left right each 50 watts. So front and surround each 50 watts and center and subwoofer shares each 100 watts. So this is a 5.1 class D amplifier. So normally a class D amplifier is a new revolution in our uh, market. So I am going to explain uh, in the middle of video. So what is class D amplifier and the revolution of the class D amplifier where it starts and how it's uh, I mean uh, how it uh, comes now what is the exact use of class D amplifier and how it differs from class A class B class AB amplifier so it's oh, when I'm explaining you can easily understand what is inside is in working in the class D amplifier so normally uh, uh, I don't know how much of you guys are know about the class D uh, working of class D amplifier what is exactly inside the class D amplifier so when you get to know you will get excited and for us it is very good amplifier and we are going to use this class D amplifier in our 5.0 amplifier kit uh, in future we are going to make 5.0 home theater in, the, in that kit we are planned to use this class D amplifier only so very good the sound clarity is very 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 good and apart from that uh, normal DTS kit as I ex explained in the previous video but few customers are asking us to check each and every channel which means front channel separately and surround channel separately and center and subwoofer separately so in this video I am going to check each and every channel separately so that you can easily understand that 5.1 how it is separated and how much it is filtered as I said if your audio quality is very good and you will get a proper 5.1 output now the setup is ready I am going to use uh, one uh, 5.1 class D amplifier I will uh, explain the class D amplifier section again and also uh, in previous section uh, uh, I was uh, tested with uh, DTS kit with multimedia speakers multimedia amplifier now I am going to use this 5 multimedia speakers and one 10 inch subwoofer dainty subwoofer uh, for class D amplifier I cannot able to use multimedia speakers for this test ok uh, in this uh, for class D amplifier I am going to use uh, transformer uh, which is uh, I got an order yesterday I have to deliver uh, 15015 10 ampere for class D also in this class D it is inbuilt speaker protection circuit available so for that uh, 0 12 volt D AC circuit and for this uh, DTS kit I am using external power supply of 12 volt you can use up to 18 volt that is not a matter I am using a 15.3 volt uh, DC power supply so these are the three uh, things I am using so uh, most of the guys are asking uh, you, I, I want to just uh, test, uh, test uh, separate audio which means uh, center subwoofer separately and sub surround and uh, front, front left right separately so I am going to test it with a normal PCM signal not a digital signal like uh, Dolby and all it's just a PCM signal so before that before testing I am just going to explain the revolution of class D amplifier so why I am using the class D amplifier here I am explaining it so the, this basically have you ever think about class D amplifier and the revolution of class D amplifier because normally in 1980s STK amplifiers or uh, series amplifiers are very famous I, I, I think till now they are using the STK series of amplifier but I am not sure about that because th this was a old section and the class D is a very new invented one I am explaining you uh, just imagine uh, where what is inside the class D amplifier you can google it and you can find the answer it's very simple 
and every class d amplifier has a mosfet in built in inside so class d amplifier is nothing but it's an amplifier is an ic based most most 90% of amplifiers are a and ab and b amplifiers are in a mosfet or transistor format but unlikely the class d amplifiers are in ic based so ic based means very small circuit and it will produce a higher level of voltage of so that is the difference and the evolution means who is invented this class d amplifier see this class d amplifiers are invented in 1950s itself which means uh, very after our, our uh, freedom 1947 it is 1950 the name is Alec Reeves he is the person who is invented the class d amplifier at this at the time uh, actually x20 is the product name and it is only 2.5 watts of class d amplifier after that two years back 1964 they are invented and two years back 1966 sinclair radionics is the company name who is modifying this class d amplifier to 20 watts so 20 watts of class d amplifier is normally is available here but at that time 1966 they are invented of 26 20 watts of class d amplifier but sadly it is failed so the invention is failed due to the raw material concern as well as the performance because that class d amplifier got overheating they cannot able to use a long run so that is the issue on the class d amplifier so it is actually it is, it is failed after that 1978 sony tried to invent an, a product name of class d amplifier ta n88 sadly it is also a form of class d amplifier but uh, they have not integrated in a circuit which means they they have, they have not converted into a circuit they have used the concept of class d amplifier but they have not invented in a circuit after a long time in 1996 the company name of tripath this company is first introduced the commercial class d amplifier so which means a commercial class d amplifier means whatever the ampl class d amplifier using right now so this is this is the first commercial amplifier introduced in the market until now after that a lots of Uh, upgradation of have happened now we can use a lots of uh, class d amplifiers in the market so i think most of the people are aware about this those who are not aware about this you can just uh, verify this about the revolution of the class d amplifier so most of the class d amplifier right now we are used using the technology of pwgm also there are three parts in the class d amplifier whenever you think about the class d amplifier just know about this working so what is the working of the class d class d amplifier which means it has three stages first is input stages input stages means whatever the signal audio signal is getting it is processed first of all it is getting processed and the second stage is switching controller this is the very important stage it varies from the a b and ab because a b and ab has very I mean a very slower switching rate, but in the class D amplifier, they are using the technology to fast switching NPN and PNP. Whatever the signal, I mean, I mean the the switching rate is NPN to PNP. It is very fast. So for that reason, it can be able to produce higher voltage with lower heat production. So that is the success of class D amplifier, which means. you can can be able to produce any number of voltages with the lower heat dissipation okay the third third stage is very simple it's lpf which means it blocks the high frequency signal so high frequency signal from the switching switching mosfet will be getting blocked so only low frequency signal will be allowed so the these row frequency signal furtherly processed into the audio output which means it will get a clarity of output so that is the reason 
in all the class pre amplifier you will get a proper output so this is the evolution of class d amplifier and what is inside the class d amplifier this is the specification so don't don't i uh, mean over excited class d amplifier has some different things which ever are not have not in in the market but it is very simple mosfet circuit used in the market but so now we will check the each and every input uh, i will give you a or oh, exact output of pcm signal what uh, i mean a uh, yeah, normal youtube song which is played through uh, vu tv that was connected to uh, optical signal see here so this is optical signal so i am going to play uh, i mean i am going to play a song with the pcm signal you just uh, differentiate the surround signal front left right and center subwoofer okay so let's see so now i'm going to remove the center and subwoofer signal you already checked the center and subwoofer input so now i'm, I'm going to uh, remove this signal and giving a surround input you just check the output So have you experienced the surround sound? Now we are going into the front left right speakers. So now the front left right speakers only collected. <laughs> now all the speakers has been checked check, uh, separately this is just a pcm signal because uh, most of us getting a pcm signal on the output if you are giving a pure dtf signal a dolby signal you will get a excellent uh, 5.1 output as a dts or dolby as output so uh, you just check it and uh, you just let me know the feedback okay we will uh, see in the next video uh, i'm going to announce the next video in the end of the video you just uh, please uh, subscribe us and support us thank you have a nice day